Okay, I do believe we are live. Um, welcome everybody to uh, yet another pre-pub chit chat with the Chattering Magpie and the rest of the gang. Uh, say hello, gang. How are you, everybody? Good evening, afternoon. Hello, gang. <laughs> hey. Hello, gang. Hello. We are nice to be back. Yes, we have a returning, uh, returning member. Well, you've always been a member, but it's been a while since we had you around, Ali. So welcome, welcome. Happy to see you. And as well, we want to welcome some of the other bookworms who are actually new. We have um, Teal and Zool. They're our newest members here on the chat. Welcome, and so happy to see. Uh, everybody else uh, who is a regular here, <laughs> uh, we're just enjoying these uh, chit chats together. Mm -hmm. Also, I'm gonna say hi to the early gang. Hello, hello to Link of Doom 24 in the YouTube chat who says, It's sad I still can't watch this. Wish I had the chance to watch one of the videos on my birthday, but don't wanna be spoiled, so hope the rest of you enjoy it. Uh, Link of Doom, Whenever you actually end up watching this replay, happy belated birthday, all the best for you, many blessings. Also, hello to Aaron Kingsolver, uh, Timonio Deville, uh, Tarot Moon Dream, Maya Raslan, uh, who is actually one of our members too. If you are if you're available, jump on into the Discord. Uh, says good morning, bookworm friends. So lucky I didn't miss this one. Yes, I think this should work out for uh, Southeast Asia gang. So I think it's like a good time. I think, or maybe it's not. I don't know. Let me know. <laughs> uh, let's see who else. Who else? Who else? Uh, Akihana, hello. Red Tempest. Uh, hey there, there you are. Uh, it says, good evening, everyone. Just finished making a chicken casserole for some friends who were, what was it? Wait, who were jealous that I was making some for my family Sunday. Hopefully I can at least listen to the chat. Well, I'm glad that you are here on The Voice. Uh, happy to have you. And by the way, thank you for all the wonderful memes. I shall be posting the memes you've made as we talk about this pre-pub chit chat. So thank you. Uh, Meme Lord. <laughs> Meme Lord Red Tempest, thank you. And while I was here reading, I saw a notification from Patrick Kelsey. Uh, hello, Patrick. Thank you so much for your support. <laughs> there you are. It says, it's so weird not being, uh, it's so weird not, not to be highlighting. highlighting anymore, but I can still have fun chatting about my favorite parts. Yes. As you guys know, we are no longer able to read like one chapter. We didn't read the whole pre-pub, but that was still, you know, that's still no bueno. So we are unable to continue reading. Um, but we are reading within the Discord. Just last Sunday, we started reading the light novel. We read two, we read the first two chapters of uh, A Sense of a Bookworm Part 5, Volume 9. So that's the, the the most recent light novel release. So we are reading it, we're having fun, we're memeing, we are discussing. We just, we're just doing it within the server. So if you are interested in joining us for those sessions, uh, do become a member, join us. At, at the nest and uh yeah i think i think it's worth i think it's worth it what five bucks a month to join in live reading sessions i don't know i think that's a deal i don't know that might just be me though but if you of course uh you know we still want to like have some discussion time so we're still doing pre-pubs so don't worry everybody we are still having pre-pub chit chats so don't worry, that's not going to go away anytime soon. We're going to finish this series <laughs> just without the reading part. Um, when are we going to do our chit chats for the uh, previous novels? As soon as I finish my pipelines of... Um, I'm trying to finish two things. Okay, so here's the thing. I am trying to finish the ships video. Remember how I'm doing Aaron Fist ships? So that's taking me yep. some time. And I'm also working on um, getting ready for the Ferdinand A to Zs. 
So if you are on my Twitter, you will notice that today I posted the first of the Ferdinand A to Z. So I'm going to go all spring putting Ferdinand posts, talking about Ferdinand, things about Ferdinand from A to Z. Once I finish Z, I'm going to go back subject. to A. <laughs> yes, because it's spring, which because it's my birth season, it's the best season of the year. And um, obviously I she share. like them so much that she had my dream. <laughs> I share the same birth season as Ferdinand, so we're going to be talking about Ferdinand on my ex or Twitter, so join me there. Um, yeah, so let's see, uh, who else do I need to say hi on the chat? I see lots of people that I recognize, the crazy ace, hello. Yes, thank you for pointing out I changed the title from part four to part five. I totally, yeah, it's part five. Thank you. I changed it. And to those who are celebrating Ramadan, many blessings, and I hope that you're doing well. I, I, um, I see a lot of um, posts and things about it. So, yeah. Um, not Ramadan Kareem not, to you all. Not, yeah, I'm not sure when when that happens. So I think some I think in the chat they're they're enlightening about Ramadan season. So, uh, let's see. Uh, who else? Who else? Who else? To those who celebrate, uh, have a good time. Um, so Red Tempest says it's 8 p.m. for them. Akihana, it's 9. 9 in the morning, 9 at night. Not sure. 9. <laughs> All right. I, I don't know. Sorry. My geography is no, no, not good. Let's see. What else? What else? Um, Shade X27. Shade X Hakon Hel- oh my goodness, I'm so sorry, I cannot say your name without butchering it, but if I butcher it, welcome to the club. Uh, you're just one of many happy people whose names have been butchered by me. Ha Hakon Helgoy says, uh, so we got our answers for the Bible question, Ferdinand has a whole book, yes. Also, hi, hello. <laughs> um, yeah, I told you so, nobody believed me. <laughs> Yes, yes. I still right. don't believe you. <laughs> most of the book. I, okay, I think, okay. I, it's, he has most of the book, but that's his choice. The though. most, the most pertinent yes. stuff, and it's his choice because I'm sure he wasn't gonna stand another minute of sweet torture uh, just to get information about some old ob who's no longer relevant to the rulings. It, I, but it was just history and lore that was not even necessary. So he's like, I'm not gonna stand any any more of this copy paste nonsense. Get out of here. So I, I think, like it how he's hiding it from the tree, though. That's yeah, pretty funny. Doesn't he have the full book he made? Yeah, he has enough. Yeah, of the book. he does have the full book. He has enough of the book has, to be like yeah, a he proper has of the reigning book. zent. Yes, he does. Um, all right, so I do. I do see that the uh, everybody is ready to start talking about this. So thank you, everybody on YouTube Very for much joining so. us. I know I've been I've been really trying to hold back the reins, but it's time to let loose the the horses and. All right, everybody, chat, tell me what you thought about this. Or shall I go like via first chapter, second chapter, third chapter? You know what? Let's just do like first impressions. Okay, uh, have at it. First impressions, and then we'll just go chapter by chapter. Um, you know what? I, um, I realized that Ferdinand said it. Um, time works differently in the um, goddess god world mm -hmm. or whatever. Gar Garden of Beginnings, mm -hmm. that's what they call it. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, so he's like, oh, I have plenty of time to do anything I want because <laughs> those idiots take like twenty years to do something mm. to realize something is going on because they're 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 like, oh, it needs to happen now, but their now is like what 20 years yeah so time is kind of like skewed in the realm of the gods and the garden of beginning i'm imagining it's like mm -hmm. tiny yeah, they, widely mm -hmm. they referenced earlier that uh during the purge that they're like oh well a bunch of nobles died an instant ago yeah but that was you know that was like over 10, 10 years, years ago. ago yeah 10 years ago or yeah a little bit more than that like like a dozen years ago yeah so uh, we start with what was the name of the title? Oh, goodness gracious! First, it was the, the Lord, Lord of, of Evil's the Lord Machinations. Of Evil's Machinations. Yeah. <laughs> Machination. Mach Machinations. So, we have basically Rosamine just teleport as she as she did. You know, the last just continuing on from the previous chapter, she teleports into the gate of 
uh, Klasenberg. And as she does, she, she notices that the teleportation circle is shining and she's like, there can only be one or two people, Gervasia or Ferdinand, but she instinctively knows it's Ferdinand. And she, she's like, you know what? I already know you're up to something. So just, just tell me everything. Uh, tell me what you're doing and what's going on. So he basically, he doesn't say exactly what he's doing. All of this creep up, she's just trying to figure out what Ferdinand is not telling her. Like, what are you up to, Ferdinand? Because, well, <laughs> because he, Ferdinand's he just, he, he he's just so her. classically amazing at explaining things. No, I mean, like he said, there's going to be tribu tribulations. So that <laughs> I'd be freaking out too. I'd be like, what? What tribulations are you talking about? I know. Uh, I, uh, I had uh, said in the forums a couple couple weeks ago mm. that they, you know, people like, oh, he's going to totally... Um, sabotage Gervasio and mm -hmm. we were discussing how and my theory was that he would wash in the guy's uh, teleportation circle I did not call <laughs> him shooting him in the hand <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> that was savage <laughs> like, I healed him afterwards it's okay I healed I him I <laughs> absolutely sad yeah he did heal him afterward but still it's like no savage. he did not oh, heal yeah. him he did not heal him well, he, okay, he gave him a potion, potion. he gave him he a, gave a, him a potion. potion yeah yeah a potion I, I, I can just imagine Air Wehrman just being like what the hell dude <laughs> right like, in front hey, of the I guy did not kill well, him well, well, right in front of a guy people, who told him they can't fight or they can't kill well, each no, other. They can't kill. They didn't right. say anything about fighting. Right. But right in front uh, of the god, like shoots him in the hand, Ferdinand raises his teleportation circle, and then takes off. Yeah. Ferdinand is uh, bringing out a huge bag of loopholes that <laughs> make everybody, <laughs> like, my mind race. Like, oh, I had a headache. For Ferdinand was just like a lawyer in his past life. Yeah, Malicious like, compliance. That's what that was. It was like loophole after loophole yes. after loophole. Yes. And I just couldn't understand it all. And yeah. I'm like, what is wrong with this it's, man? It's okay. He's a <laughs> genius. We're not meant to understand. He's playing 4D chess. So, okay. <laughs> People are like, Ferdinand, you can't do that. And Ferdinand's like, where, where in the rules does it say I can't? No, he's like, we're, watch me. We're playing me. checkers, he's playing chess. <laughs> well, that's what all Dunkelfelger says. That, like, he doesn't play ditter like you're supposed to play ditter. <laughs> you know? He's like, he'll be the ninja that kills you while you're sleeping. <laughs> instead of, you know, fighting you face to face. <laughs> no, he'll like, be the ninja that tricks, like, someone else to kill you while you're sleeping. Oh my goodness. Um, doesn't do yeah. it himself. One other thing throughout this pre-pub, which I think the author does really well because it's really subtle, is um, Rosemine's uh, her memory loss. Mm -hmm. Her memory gaps. Because because she doesn't seem like herself. No. Like, you know, she's herself, but at the same time, she's not. And you can you can tell. Mm -hmm. Like, you can just tell if you're really looking at, the, uh, at reading between the lines. Mm -hmm. And I think the author does a really good job, uh, you know, mm -hmm. still keeping it, still keeping the reader like, oh, she's fine. Mm -hmm. But, you know, if if you're a reader that really looks into it, you'll see that, no, she's not fine. No, that's true. Yeah. Also, so it's like she has a concussion. Yeah. And also, like, yeah, I, like yeah, I noticed yeah. that at one point she's like, should I just be driving my panda bus so you don't have to carry me around? I'm like, yo, your panda bus. You're afraid of I your mean, of your face stone, of the high beast yeah, face like, stone. I was like, wondering the same thing. There's also the fact mm -hmm. that they uh, tied up Harmit with the oh. uh, Sovereign Knights. <laughs> yes. Oh, that was funny. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he was being too... I wonder if... Too would, uh, harm it. But they closed her... He's too much of a nuisance. They mouth, too. <laughs> They're like, don't talk... Like, they closed her mouth for, so she can't talk either. Mm. They yeah. just bound no, him she, up with all the No, she put her hand over her mouth. Yeah, like... <laughs> well, yeah, but, but they also completely bundled her up in every way, so you wouldn't know. Mm. Well, yeah, they had like the a silver noise, cloth. You couldn't hear her, you couldn't see her. I mean, she's, she's literally crazy. glowing! Yeah, well, so, no, yeah. not the silver cloth, it blocks it On all. The, right, yeah, but, but she, she can't tell she's glowing. We got, yeah. um, because of that glow, we got why she has the silver cloth cape in mm -hmm. the cover. In the cover, we finally understand yeah. why the illustration. So... Yeah, uh, no, it's really, um... It's really interesting because she has. I, I seriously think she has a concussion. She's acting like she has a concussion, and she needs it like does seem that way. a cat scan. <laughs> <laughs> Damn you, Mishinora! <laughs> what but, did Mishinora uh, the, the, the way do? That, but for the way that, that it was it. written, it seemed like she was in a daze. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like mm -hmm. that she that she could understand what was happening, but she could couldn't really like get it, mm -hmm. like truly understand it. Like she was just passing through and. 
it was weird. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but you know, uh, uh, like, uh... Ferdinand, even with all his lawyer talk and his loopholes and all that jazz, he's still a doctor. Mm -hmm. So he's still not telling her that something's wrong with her, but he is checking on her multiple times to to see, you know, is she still in this daze? Yeah, and see, here's well, here's the I... thing. Like, we, sorry, I'll get, I'll, I'll. I'll let you talk. Let me just finish it's this, fine, Alex. No, no, no. See, the thing is, we don't know. We only have her perspective. She feels normal. She thinks that she's okay. She doesn't realize that there's memory gaps. She thinks she's fine. But we don't... Like, her doctor is the one that knows. And I, I feel that he could be proper, probably withholding information about her health and what's going to happen. Uh, just because it's convenient but right now i think there's there's a lot that we don't know about about her i don't think it's because it it's convenient because you know like a normal doctor would take it you know a little bit I mean, easy did, like did it like, edward mayan maybe so like uh, there wouldn't be like a, a throw like her shock. up so she looked like misty anora <laughs> All right, I'll start. She is Misty Nora did say <laughs> Edward Maine did a good job. <laughs> oh, that was. Uh, so I don't know if you made was, her look like Misty Nora more. That, that was Ardwax. Ardwax. Not, not, Ardwax. Yeah, not Ardwax. If Ardwax made her look like Misty Nora more, maybe. I mean, let's be real. She was compared to Misty Nora far before yeah, her yeah. glow up. All so, right, yeah, Ali, but she said Ali. she said she did a good job. Yes, Ali. <laughs> uh, what, what I meant to say was that I wonder if it's like a problem that will have a short uh, term solution, like Ferdinand has something cooking up, or mm -hmm. if this is the part of the new uh, Rosamine that we will just have to get used to. Like if this is like not, not like a permanent change, but something that will permanently like have something mm -hmm. um, that will change her in some way, or if this is just like a temporary yeah thing that will go away because right oh. now i i i can't tell like which direction the uh, the author is taking this i just know that something's wrong and i don't know how wrong it actually is um, mm -hmm. i want to add on to al's um statement because i think um i think she is changed i don't think she's going like like when people suffer memory loss and they gain their memories back their personality is not like a hundred percent what they used to be mm -hmm. you know you're getting information um that you had before but you're not feeling you you feel like you didn't live that you know what mm -hmm. i mean you know it but you didn't live it you know so it's a little bit different also something that concerns so when, me. yeah finish oh I'll, go ahead no no no, no finish no, no. and i'll continue <laughs> no i was just, no no go ahead <laughs> okay also something that is kind of concerning is if i had lost a chunk of memory i would have been like freaking out but she seems to be so chill i'm like girl like you're glowing but she doesn't know though yeah i i know but I she, wonder, she knows i wonder how much but... of that is the uh goddess's yeah. influence we don't know maybe even this could be a uh, a cure to her phobia yeah and but it seems like like a lot of the can. memory that she's lost mm -hmm. is not memory that she would go oh i lost something like mm -hmm. it's it doesn't seem like she notices that she lost something so mm -hmm. of course she's not going to freak out if she doesn't know she lost something mm -hmm. i mean this is just me because obviously we have an unreliable narrator because rosemine is yeah. the narrator but I, I don't actually don't see any memory loss whatsoever the only thing she's missing is the time she wasn't even physically present yeah. uh you know and so she wouldn't have been there to observe it anyway because she well, was reading. And see, that's you know? that's so, the beauty of Cassidy Sensei's writing, because we don't right. uh, we don't realize. That's what I was about to extent. say since it's mm -hmm. right. Like I said, she's her, an unreliable narrator, but every time she's favorite. questioned about her memory, she's able to recall everything that they question her about. Yeah, Patrick. So oh. <laughs> I feel it's not really all that lost. Yeah, for me, it was, doesn't almost feel like a. Uh, memory loss but mostly like some kind of like emotional loss mm. or that she's like distancing herself from what's happening mm. Mm. emotionally yeah at least that's how i read it yeah during the pre-pop i think we'll understand oh, hold it hold more second, when we just, get, um... i think hold on jess uh patrick wanted to finish a thought i think patrick i i was just i was just gonna say since the story is told from her perspective she honestly wouldn't know if she's missing the memory, so why would she bring attention to it? Yeah, okay, that's right. true. Uh, Jess, okay, continue on. <laughs> um, well, 
No, um, I think she, I think she does have memory and emotional type of loss. Uh, the only reason I, I think this is not because of her um, point of view. It's because of her point of view and what people are telling her, like what she's hearing from other people, what she's hearing from Fernand and Riarda and how they're talking to her and how she's responding. Like, why wouldn't she know a meeting with the royal family? If it was Rosemine like a couple chapters ago, she would have been like, oh, he was, he's doing something for, for this uh He's doing something because I have that the whole thing going on with the royal family right now. She's like, I don't get it. Where is this coming from? And I'm and she's uh so she says certain things like that that makes you realize that she's not she's not um in the loop, mm -hmm. but it's not because she she shouldn't be in the loop. It's because something was taken from her that takes her out of that loop. Mm -hmm. See, I, um, I I disagree on that because uh every time you know, like I said, anytime her memories anyone questions it she's always been uh when it comes to noble uh interactions she's always been had a hard time putting two and two together when it comes to how nobles interact oh, and yeah. so anytime that there's like oh this is what's happening and she she'll always question that she's like well why are we doing that oh because of this oh that makes sense <laughs> you know like it's always been not her her view because one she doesn't care and two, you know, uh, it's new. As long as and somebody so, she trusts tells her that that's the way it's done, she's like, okay. <laughs> exactly. So, like, in the in the first chapter, when uh, Ferdinand first was like, hey, uh, did you lose your memory on how you interrupted Gervasio's book? She didn't put two and two together. She's like, N uh, explain it to me. And he's like, oh, you know, that thing you did. And she's like, oh, yeah, no, I totally remember doing that. It's just that she doesn't put the two and two together, right? Mm. Is that she knows she did this action, and for this reason, but she didn't realize the outcome of it because that wasn't her plan, mm. right? Her plan was just to interrupt, not to steal knowledge or or, yeah. or, or break up. Yeah, but no, she, 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 she wanted, wanted to steal knowledge. No, no, that's she, exactly what she was trying to do. Right, right, right. Okay, no, she, she wanted to steal it for her, but she didn't get <laughs> yes. any knowledge out of it. She knows yeah, that I she think, didn't yeah. get any knowledge out of well, it. Well. I think you know. what proves your statement wrong is when she starts talking about her panda bus. And I should use my panda bus. No, but she had that before. A two, a she has PTSD in the last, on her stones, right, though. A, a, couple, a couple last book, though, even post-PTSD, she was like, can I do this thing? But it would, it would mean that she'd had to interact with her face stones. Mm. And someone else had to point out, could you? And she was like, oh, that's right. I couldn't because yeah. I'd have to interact with the stones. So, let so me she just... doesn't immediately think of the yeah. aftermath. So let me just, uh, so we can still talk about that a little later. Let me just go over some of the comments that I'm reading on the chat, which are actually really, really fun. So Red Tempest, of course, points out that Ferdinand is a menace, which um, brings to mind the comment that Jazz had said earlier on about just Ferdinand and this book. What was it that you were saying about Ferdinand and this entire book? <laughs> Like it was loophole after loophole after mm -hmm. loophole. Yeah, basically he's he almost owning the hat. book. Yeah, he's it's basically uh, him owning like this entire it's the book. Show. Yeah, and like, he didn't just trick like regular humans. He tricked the gods. <laughs> <laughs> like the audacity so um kumashi says i love how ferdinand is going off with the water gun and christopher rogers says it ain't a war crime if it's the first time referring to all this stuff he did to gervasio while they were on the race to become zent <laughs> honestly first he I, I, shot him i love the i love the electrician reference there um about can somebody explain to me the metal thing because I thought if you if you break the metal you die right? But then you die, you're if you're in the, in the same duchy. duchy, if you're in the duchy, but if you're outside of the duchy, then you basically just lose your staff. Yeah, that's why um, the uh, Matthias's dad didn't use a stop in his fight. He yeah. So he doesn't have a stop right now, Gervasio. No, Correct. he no longer has a stop. He's basically trapped inside the gate. Uh, so he went to go charge the gate. So while he was doing his thing, Ferdinand <laughs> went to like destroy his his medal. So now That's he's trapped. Saying, so so, so you're him. saying he's been stopped? <laughs> well, there was no. Oh, I stopped. No. Stop. I, 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 
with it. I'm sorry. Stop no, with no, that joke. No, no. oh, I just, uh, I just had this realization that uh, intrusive because thoughts. I thought Ferdinand was gonna go hunt him down when he was like, "Oh, I'll go find him later." Uh huh. But no, he's trapped. No, he's I didn't trapped. realize he was. Trapped. Yeah. <laughs> I think he's so just gonna... yeah, yeah, I'm like, what the fuck? Yeah, and, and he's just retreat. gonna leave him yeah. there to like starve a little. <laughs> Or something. <laughs> He's like, I'm gonna leave him to like starve a little. <laughs> so we'll retrieve him later. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and I'll I, I never give he, him a puppy. I don't think he said he, I'm gonna retrieve him later. He said I'll send the royals to retrieve him later. So he's gonna use yeah, yeah. the royals no, to someone do Someone else to retrieve him. Yeah. Someone else. That's no, no longer my problem. He implied sending the royals. Yeah, well. <laughs> to retrieve him, like he's better than the royals at the moment. <laughs> They're basically he his can boss them his around. Fetch dogs. At this point, yeah. Ferdinand, Ferdinand is show. Ferdinand is basically the king. Just without the official title, but he really is the king. Uh, <laughs> well, that's how the uh, yeah, no, that's how the that's how, like, Rosemine, sees it. Like, Rosemine yeah, trying to be um, Jiminy Cricket over here for mm -hmm. for Ferdinand, mm -hmm. saying like, uh, "Did you really have to go this far? Mm -hmm. Like, couldn't you play fair for once?" Mm -mm, no, he's like oh, he's that looking is... at her like, "We're at war, right, <laughs> like, Patrick." <laughs> Patrick? What? <laughs> you were gonna say something? No, uh, never mind. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, try not to interrupt each other. I'll try. I'll do my best also it, not to interrupt it, it each other. It is what it is. Yeah, I'm sorry. Um, so, um, continuing on, it ain't from the chats. So, I forget, Maya, uh, you said, did I misunderstand the part Ferdinand hug per Ferdinand part? Um, I'm not sure what that is. Did I forget something? Was there a hug? Did I forget. Was there a hug, everybody? He kind of, he kind of pushed her up. He, 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 he pushed her. He didn't hug her. He pushed he her through his shoulder. Shoved her slightly. Yeah, I was wondering about that, like what did it prove something to him he he, he said something about yeah. it yeah that her balance she doesn't have full control of her body i think that she still is not good on her feet yeah maya oh, i'm not yeah, sure so, if there was okay. some some romantic undertone to that i don't think so but if there is people well, please not, feel I free don't to tell me that. Rosemary and Ferdinand. let me know not he also, said, he, he also said, was said that he yeah go go ahead <laughs> Oh no! Real quick, she—he said that she has a new body. Hmm. Okay. It says, "Um, well, I, I, learn I to think control he's, your new body." I think he's still talking about her adult body because that's not. It's There's not only been that she has. Yeah. Huh? Because it was. Some, oh, you're some right. You. Wow! I forgot Alan? that it's been that oh. recent. It's only been a few yeah, days. I it's it's it's, it's yeah. been like 15 days or 20 days since she came out of um, the uh guard uh, the garden beginnings from yeah, yeah. Okay. 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 Oh, 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 ali and then yeah. neo and then jazz well, uh, basically the same thing like uh, she probably like everything she's getting used to because he didn't hug her but he pushed her and then it um uh, then it was written that he caught her because she couldn't like Keep the balance. Oh, she almost fell back. Okay. So, yeah, yeah. yeah. Ah, okay. Which I, I, I didn't when read. I was reading the part, I was like thinking, like, does it have to do something with her, like the physical state, because she's still getting used to the new body, or because she's pacing out <laughs> and she didn't register, like, what was happening, because uh, she probably trusts Maybe her both? the most. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> so if he like, if he did push her. She probably would never like think that he would do something to harm her. Mm -hmm. So she was maybe like spacing out and just like focusing on something else. And that's why she stumbled and he had to call her in the end so that she wouldn't fall. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Can, can, uh, can we all just appreciate that the only times that uh, Ferdinand is truly honest with Rosemine is when there is no chance of anybody coming in to interrupt them? Yes, that is true. That is true. Hmm. Neo Monkey Man, I think you wanted to say something earlier. Do you still have that thought? Well, yeah, I, I, yeah, I just realized that like Fernand, they're gonna do the dedication whirl. Mm. Best of yeah, luck. Totally. Yeah, totally. He's actually... telling you practice dedication world. I... Like, yeah, but who's she gonna dance yeah, with? Yeah, about that. No, mm. I am that's worried. what my comment's gonna be about. What's Who up? else are they gonna get so, to do the? Gonna do so just the two people. Or do they need everyone? So, 
Okay. Whoever they choose to be the Zent is going to be the person who uh, does the dedication r ritual with, mm -hmm. with uh, Rosemine. Jess? Because uh, Rosemine um, is going to be taking so the, the, the... Or... Or me, uh, me the way I thought is that Rosemine... Uh, Patrick, finish your thought, and then Jess, and then Ed. <laughs> right, so Rosemine is going to take the the, the role of of Master Nora and bestow the, the Grudgesite to... The, the chosen Zent, and the Zent is going to be with Rosemind doing the dedication whirl. Mm -hmm. So that's why he's having her practice her, her whirling. Mm -hmm. Jess? Um, about the memory thing, uh, for the dedication ritual, he says, so your memory was devastated. And the, and the word was, like, it's in, like, uh, italic. Like from all the other words mm -hmm. in that specific, um, uh, when he's talking, he, he, he's telling her, do you not remember, you know? So I do think her, I think that proves that some of her memory is lost. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So that's, that's all I was going to say about it. Cause, um, we were arguing about the whole memory thing, but he, he does confirm, uh, confirm it in my eyes when he says, so your memory was devastated. Uh -huh. But it's just put as like, you know, in the back burner because he's talking to her about the dedication ritual and she, he's going into professor mode so she can, you know, do what she needs to do. Mm -hmm. Yeah. By the way, I want to I want to uh, just say hello to Vincent, who has been super chatting. Thank you, Vincent. Oh, my goodness. It's like 3 a.m. or whatever. Uh, middle what of the night. What are you doing up, you madman? Vincent, darling. Uh, Go to bed. I am so happy you're joining us, even though it's just listening to us over on YouTube. But do rest, have a heart for me, or have lots of hearts for me. But he does have a point. He does want us to to not make fun of Hartmut because he is a prophet. Uh, okay. Um, <laughs> also, people pointed out on the on the chat about how. Um, all of Rosamine's retainers are reacting to her new status. So we have uh, Brunhild, who seems to, you know, all everybody else except Hartmut, they're like, okay, Rosamine does these things. They take everything in stride and they have had absolutely like no problem really doing their job and dealing with whatever changes come. But right now, like even her best trained retainers, like for example, Brunhild, who's like top of the top of the top, her hands are trembling when she is uh, dealing with Rosamine. So um, that's you pretty think intense. That, mm -hmm. I thought for a minute that Sylvester might be from like Mine's world because he he mutters talk about glow up. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's just like, Quaff, Quaff doing his I, thing. <laughs> I know. I'm like, I'm like he's so. That's so. That doesn't sound like. It doesn't. That sound doesn't sound Jurgen Schmidt ish. <laughs> <laughs> well, this, the same with Ferdinand when, when, okay, the same with Ferdinand when Ferdinand was like really like upset at some stuff that Sylvester said, like later on, he's like, come on, man, stop it. It's almost like get your head, head out of the gutter kind of deal. Like, yeah, but he's been in Rosemine's mind. So, I mean, <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, I think that's he's, just, he's been corrupted. That's just yeah. Quaff doing his thing. Maybe by the end, maybe at the end of when they <laughs> Do go from pre-pub to light novel. They will change things as they sometimes do. Uh, <laughs> I don't I know. I like how in the in the image in the illustration, everybody but Sylvester has worried glances. <laughs> he is like, "Oh, how did that happen?" And everybody else looks like, "Oh no." <laughs> speaking of <laughs> speaking of glances, I just want a POV of Charlotte seeing Rosamine now. <laughs> like we we had that POV of when she saw her like first growing up she was like she had like all these things she she basically was writing poetry and now imagine her with this glow up i don't know what she has in mind right now. i think point. it would be worse as melly her her little brother <laughs> like uh, my little cinnamon roll he'd be looking at her and he's like no i really can't catch up <laughs> I, I don't think we should allow lestalt to see her <laughs> oh, that would be bad by the way lestalt oh, lestalt would just see her that would be Les bad lestalt is stuck in this in his foundation hall <laughs> yeah that was I funny think that's a good, i think that's a I good thing if he saw rose mine <laughs> it would uh end bad mm. yeah yeah I'll, 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 uh, he would I just create really like the blast supper or something that um abdelkofeger proved that 
they're not a bunch of just football, you know, just like a uh, muscle people heads. who just fight idiots. Yeah, muscle heads. Mm-hmm. You know, they're not just Hooligans. muscle heads. So he knows. Also, what's going his on. name. Mm-hmm. Oh, uh, yeah. His... We got a name. Uh, wor- worker, worker, laugh, work something. I'm so used Worko? to the. I'm so used to the web novel version. Verdict laugh. Uh, that that worker, Verdiclaff. worker laugh or whatever it is. I'm so <laughs> weird because to me it was always verdict laugh, but now yes. it's changed. So I'm like, oh. wordicraft. Probably, no, it is wordicraft. Wordicraft. It's probably pronounced verdicraft. Yeah, yeah W E R. Kind of like a V. Yeah. yeah, W-E-R-D-E-K-R-A-F. K-R-A-F. Probably Verdencraft. <laughs> Verdencraft. Well, craft means strong. Mm-hmm. Like, he is so... Like, I didn't realize how much he knew... Fern- he, mean, kn- like, he knows Fernand. I think he knows Fernand more than Rosemine at this point. Well, it, it makes sense for a ob of a greater duchy to, you know, uh, it, understand it, it's really that- what's going on. Uh, it's weird that someone who's who is typically such a muscle head is so observant. Yeah, it's it's weird that somebody that's such a muscle head is able to tell what nobody else could that Ferdinand has a Grusha site. Like he has but a book. Like the rest to of be them. fair, to be fair, Bonifacius is pretty much the same. Hmm. Is this yeah. the first time that we got um, the uh, uh, Duncan Felger's like name POV? Oh, or, we got uh, Siglitz. It wasn't from like Rosamine's perspective. Yeah, we got because that, since she's like an unreliable narrator, yeah. it can change a lot how we how we view the characters before we yeah. get there. POVs. So the the epilogue is always from a different perspective than Rosamine's, and in this case, the epilogue, which I actually enjoyed quite a lot, was Siegland. I love that woman. Oh my gosh, she's yeah, we had so a competent. Before. She is so competent. Like, if I were a man, I would marry myself a Sieglin. Yeah, a t-shirt that says, please be my m- mom, Sieglin. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, yes, we need I, that. <laughs> I love their, I love their d- dynamic in the, uh, mm-hmm. in the epilogue because mm-hmm. they seem so businesslike until the end where oh my gosh, so finally cool. you see some, some touching romance between them. It's like, Oh, so it does exist with these two because I thought they just were a, a, a couple by convenience. Yeah, they're so domestic and cute together. She's like, "Go rest," and he's like, "Okay." But then he, they have like these like small touches that they know what they mean. Like he was pointing out that she also needs rest. Oh my gosh, I was like, "This is so cute." Ugh. Well, yeah, I, I was, I was surprised. I have I to imagine if you're married for a, a significant yeah. amount of time and have a couple of kids together that unless you had some inherent bias against each other going into that marriage, that even if you didn't mm-hmm. weren't super romantic when you started, you might eventually get that way. For sure. We just love I to th- see it because it's such a misconception that nobles, they're, they're just cold marriages. But I know that's the reality. When you marry, you have like these inside jokes, little quips and quirks that you know each other. But it's nice to see it. I love that. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> um, I like how he's in um, like it shows how and it, it, this works for like a lot of armies and stuff like that. Army generals, you know, he's in army mode. He's in war mode, you know. Um, even as he gets home and even as the war is semi kind of over but he knows it's not semi kind of over because they're like what the Z- they're the there's sword of party. the zent mm-hmm. yeah there's a, a sword of the zent mm-hmm. and they have no idea who's going to be zent right now mm-hmm. so they're like they have to watch mm-hmm. like they he pretty is a much- realist though and knows it's not going to be Trarquil <laughs> <laughs> yeah he's trapped he doesn't even have a shot I mean, yeah. one thing that was a little bit confusing was the uh, them trying the conversation about trying to like, think, say that like, Aaron Fest was like part of it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so, uh, so that was a little bit weird. Yeah, and the upheaval, who's going to win, who's going to lose, it makes a difference in the rankings and like everything. So I'm imagining that based on who fought and who had lots of involvements, they're going to spoil, the, they're going to divide the spoils of war between each other. So Aaronfest needs to be part of this because, well, they kind of were part of like all this. They just need to be part of this because um, otherwise start. it would be on the losing end. Um. Uh, What's interesting, he was mm-hmm. talking about some other duchies too that um, 
they 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 got a glow up from um Rose mine. Well, like, why did it, because of the gates. The gates started <laughs> shining. Yeah. So in the all dogs, and... like f you. I'm not telling you shit. Yeah. <laughs> He's yep. like, screw those reds. Yeah, he calls them the reds. I was like, oh, so that's how they refer to them. And I knew there had to be some kind of rivalry, some kind of thing. So it's blues versus reds. Boy, does that sound familiar. It's the, it's the first the nerds. That's what it is. Yeah. So again, with the sealant point of view, like Maya Raslan says on the chats, uh, we can get like inside analysis. So she pins pinpoints the critical information correctly like we have ha like snippets of information uh about what ferdinand is doing on rosamine's point of view she doesn't get the whole gist but sieglin is like on it so she's like oh i see he's doing this and that and the other and they're basically like deciding what they're gonna do ahead ahead in advance of like the meeting with the royalty they decide one he's no longer so wordy word claff whatever his name he decides that he's not going to support Charquall. Second, the backup plan was that he was going to be uh, Zent and then an adopt um, Hildebrand. But then he drops the bomb that uh, on Siegelin <laughs> that Hildebrand was is actually like became basically a royal Wilfried. He is in big doo doo. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Uh, I like the, I, you know, outside of the, all the messed up stuff that's happening, I like their whole proud parent moment with Hanalore. Oh, yes. Hanalore, yeah. darling. <laughs> Poor Les. I felt bad for Les a lot because Hanalore is going to be like, she's the MVP, you mm -hmm. know, of yeah. Uncle right now because the she went from war to war to war. Mm -hmm. The fight of the century or of their lifetime. And he missed out. He was stuck in the, re in the replacement so hall. All the time. <laughs> he's so bitter. Yeah. I mean, he's gonna be bitter. He's gonna be bitter, but he's still gonna be all siscon and uh, enjoy his sisters. I am well, so glad. Well, that's another Noemi's problem. Not though, here. She's, yeah, nah. that's another problem I, because Hanalor mm -hmm. defeated. Hanalor did so much. She's like, um, you know, high up there for the marriage mart. You know. Wow. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Uh, and. That's going to be interesting to see the Hannah. <laughs> Hannah Lore was like just going to be married off to whatever duchy. But I, Not think, her, I think her <laughs> prospects have significantly brightened now, especially because she had disgraced herself. They were like, yeah, I don't even know who we're going to marry you off to. Now she basically has, you know, fixed that situation. She's going in the history books. Mm -hmm. And, you, you know, another winning duchy that has a male Archduke candidate. Oh, well... I wonder who that could be. Hmm. Everybody, write your write your guesses on who could be her <laughs> groom, or maybe her grooms. In this world, she can take. <laughs> I'm like, multiple. why not? Why not take multiple? Well, why not both? Why not all three? <laughs> where, where in the so I've been looking at that. I hmm. haven't found a, a single example of a female ob taking more than one group. Uh, room yeah, is that it's actually a thing for, for i don't think it is i don't know if I, it is a current it makes sense it's to have there. more than one wife but it doesn't make sense to have more than one husband no that makes speaking, sense because like yeah. um because if you have more than one husband then you have more mana to put into your duchy mm -hmm. and if she's gonna be pregnant her. all the time no, that makes sense to adopt it also means you're gonna be or having bring them into your family in alternate so. ways, but you can't have more babies with more husbands, whereas more wives produces far more babies. Yeah, I think so, it just has to do with like the whole if you point need, of that is if you need political support or from a faction or whatnot. Of course, I don't think it's gonna happen with Hanalor, honestly, because she is her brother is set to become the next ob, so it would only make sense for a female ob to take on multiple husbands to bring some balance and whatnot. But um, but theoretically speaking, people can marry multiple husband, people, multiple spouses. Just it, yeah, we only see I it from the male side. Yeah, I don't think side. it ever. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think. I don't we've think seen it's it. ever been brought up that a, a, a female has ever had multiple husbands. Hmm. Like even as a head of household, I, it's never come up. Hmm. And so I'm not saying it's impossible. I just it doesn't meet the logic of their world because, <laughs> uh, so, you know, like the idea um, of. Like you can always uh, ad adopt more or bring more people into your family in alternate means. Uh, you know, having any kind of uh, uh, you know the big 
way relations work is just make sure you're not related to that mother, right? Mm -hmm. So, um, obviously, it's it, I'm not saying it's in any way to diminish uh, the females in this world. It just doesn't seem like through their logic of how their their duchies work and why males are so preferred over females as obs. Mm -hmm. No, yeah, it makes sense. Because yeah. of the baby making portion, is that um, it? Just I don't think that tracks to me. Okay. Uh, I I forgot to mention um, in the last in the epilogue. It's really funny how Ob Dunkelfelger is complaining about all the politics he has to deal with. Like how he's so tired about this crap, and she was like, "You wanted to go." <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. Yes. <laughs> So, oh my goodness. So I yes. Hi Vincent. I came here. I came here to speak about a, 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 a hey, thematic Vince. and I don't know why you're not speaking about it. About hey. what? <laughs> about what? But on the other on the other side on the other side you would have a problem if a um op what were if a woman what had more uh, more men because you would one in the succession problem. Mm -hmm. If a woman has more than two men or three men or something, you cannot be sure which of the men are a father. <laughs> so it would be a succession problem. Yeah. Actually, if a woman yeah. has, if a if yeah. a man has more women, you will uh, every you will now where the father where who the father is. No, you would. So actually, in this uh, role, mana. you can know. Yeah, because of mana, the parents have to give mana to the child, mm -hmm. so you would know whose child it is. Yeah, because like, two parents yeah, that make their mana, mana they connect and stuff. Okay, so but that is that what is. I don't know. <laughs> uh, finish yeah. your thought, Vince. Do they have a Murray? Finish your thought, Vince. Uh, no, 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 this was just a thing. Um, named by. What I don't want to know is why I do, why do you guys not talking about the marriage about Ferdinand and was mine? Hold on a second. Hold on a second. I'm, I'm trying to move that conversation there. Let me just close this up. So the thing about multiple husbands and multiple wives, uh, it's it's still a theory about women taking multiple husbands. We can talk about all the logistics later. But yeah, I mean, it's it's a different world than ours. Um, but yeah, keep thinking about that, ruminating. Maybe it'll come up some days. Maybe. Um, by the way, I want to say hello to Liz. Uh, Liz, darling, you are you are there. Thank you so much for the super chat. Hey, uh, here's a hug from yeah. me. <laughs> and you say, I love how he admitted that he was extremely worn out from dealing with Ferdinand. Wouldn't you have been ex extremely worn out uh, from being basically his like errand boy? Basically, Ferdinand is treating everybody like they're just meant to like do his will. And Sieglin, um. <laughs> and Sieglin is like, when he's like, yeah, but you know, like three people were summoned to the gods it was gervasia rosamine whom we know has have the grutus height and ferdinand so that means that he also has a grutus height and that means that all this time we have been bothering somebody like him so like all the data requests and sending him to to um aaron's back all of that now it just crashes on him and she like cradles her head she's like what the heck did we do now you don't want to um. have this man as an enemy. <laughs> you don't. I think um, the funniest moment of this entire thing is when Sylvester tells Fernand, did you skip autumn and call winter early? Oh, yes. Yes. <laughs> yeah, what the hell does that mean? <laughs> All right. Do you guys want that to know mean the information? That means he is So that, that's... that's uh, I don't know. Like I know Fernand what it is because I'm a web bro. novel reader, but I can, I can... If you don't want to hear yeah, about it, Robert, meet yeah. yourself. Ten, ten, ten seconds. Mute yourself now. <laughs> All right. So you I basically asked him, "Did you have premarital sex, and did you dye her so you can now use the foundation?" So that's what Damn. It okay. <laughs> so that's why everybody's like, "What the fuck?" Yes. He's like, he cocked an eyebrow. He's because, like, uh, mm -hmm. "No." Because <laughs> Mo Rosamine's mana is different now. She is imbued with the with um with the goddess's mana color, so it's different from what it was before. But they can still use the teleportation circles because Ferdinand can use them because Ferdinand has the same color as her. So he's like, how is it possible? How? How? It's impossible. So he's like, ah, did you greet winter before? So that's why. <laughs> so uh, th that's why Ferdinand was like, oh, come on, man. Um, so yeah, that was the source of the, um, the confusion there. 
and it's just noble talk that will come up later <laughs> um i like how she's like really uh she has this glow up but she's still rosemine she's still rosemine that's why they want her to shut up yeah so yeah. she's ruining it when she, she talks <laughs> they were like cover her mouth and then drape her on <laughs> am i safe I was yeah. for a you're while. safe, safe? you're safe yeah but cool. covering with that mm -hmm. i thought i i took it the the fact of covering her mouth is that it, if she speaks, she, she's probably emitting more mana, which allows more people to to, to feel. It's like it's like Ferdinand kept saying, it's like tears contain a lot of mana, blood contains a lot of mana, but now probably her breath contains a lot of mana because she's she's so different Maybe. now. Yeah, and I well, no. I, was <laughs> no. or when she speaks, because, uh, she needs to be seen as the avatar of the goddess for a while now, for like at least a couple more days. <laughs> yeah, she before she opens her mouth and ruins yeah. it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yes, kind of like Gervasio when he said, you know, you really have that that uh, aura of the goddess, but the way you speak and act, it just it just ruins it all. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so um, let's see, what else do we have in this chapter? We have, I don't know, there's just so much fun stuff going on and we actually only have eight minutes I mean, left. So before we finish this, anything else you guys want to any plot point plot points not opinions not questions just a plot point that we didn't revisit that we need to talk about yes i think it was okay, nice Allie. that she got oh. all of her retainers back yes it's nice uh ali i just i just wanted to mention how i love that uh harmut was <laughs> the right the Thank entire you. time yes. he just saw this like small gremlin on her debut <laughs> and he was like, oh, she's going to be a goddess. And it actually came true. That is like the best payoff I could ask for. We did not thank you for bringing that up. We did not talk about Hartmut and Clarissa, you guys. How can I not have <laughs> talked about Hartmut and Clarissa? Oh, yeah. How did we forget those two? Oh, my God. <laughs> they tied That's up because Hartmut. There's so much other shenanigans. <laughs> And then Clarissa was not any better. She was also raving and doing all the things, but at least she did her job while still fangirling violently around Rosamund. Well, it took Riarda to put her back to back on task. For sure. Riarda, and, man, she's And speaking a of Riarda, mm -hmm. speaking of Riarda, it's amazing that we get her back. Oh, yeah. I, I, I feel almost nostalgic when I see her. I miss that, that lady. Yeah. Her and Brunhilde and Bertlin, it was great. Yeah. Her being able to, uh, Rosemind being able to interact with them. Yeah. I love Audely, um, but the fact that she just washes her hands off her, child, off her child and her <laughs> child in law, like that just does not fill me with confidence about her competence. Like, I'm like, yeah, Audely, but we know that Riarda is like, could have handled things better. Um, I don't know. I don't trust her as much with the well being of our gremlin, so. I actually trust Lisa um, Lita more with Rosamine <laughs> than Adelie. In terms of plot point, because you said you were talking about plot yes, points. Yes, 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 please. One plot point uh, is the filling of the Jürgen mm -hmm. in terms of mana. Mm -hmm. Like, where are we at in that? Like, you know, where where are we going with that? Did she fill them all up? I, or, you know... We know that when they your, fill... Like, what yeah. are, we know that when they because fill she went the, to that other place. yeah, we know that when they when they fill the the gates, that actually helps towards filling the foundation. So so far, when she had just filled the class, the she had only filled the like three gates or so. That already gave twenty years leeway for mana. So with the additional three <laughs> three gates filled, we don't know. Maybe yeah. that gives another twenty years worth of. Mana I mean, who knows? Well, also we're, the gods' uh, perception of time, Ferdinand pointed out, it was absolutely mm -hmm. horrible. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah like, they oh, said, uh, I'll be gone for 30 minutes. It could be three years. Mm -hmm. He yeah. doesn't know the difference. Yeah. Ed? He won't know the difference. Yeah, they, so he'll be back second. in five minutes. Uh, Ed and then Jess. Technically, we only know that five gates have been filled fully with mana, which has been done by Rosemine, because Gervasio was interrupted by uh, Ferdinand destroying his metal, taking away Step, taking away the way the use of his Gershersheit, hmm. while he was filling up the gate. So we don't know how much that gate has been filled. True, true. Well, Uncle Felger happened. said that Glissenmeyer reported theirs shown too. Oh. So yeah, but at least shown partially. does not mean it's full. But it's I know, but it's full. at least been partially filled. Yeah, yeah. 
that that contributes to well we uh, we're very thankful to him for his noble sacrifice but he's now stuck in that place and who knows what he's gonna get get I out of there i completely did not see that coming though <laughs> i did not see the the, the using the metal to re yeah destroy that's why when you guys when you guys brought up that question like two pre-pubs ago like about like if, can anybody use that in the war? I was like, you'll see. Because I knew that Ferdinand was going to use that little trick up his sleeve. Um, I just didn't want to spoil it for you guys. So I'm glad that that caught you by I'm surprise. <laughs> they yeah. don't tend to mention something without incorporating it later. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They did bring the up the metals really good about that. what would happen <laughs> if uh, they were destroyed when the person wasn't around. Or in a specific area, so... Yeah. them not using that content would seem a little bit weird mm -hmm. yeah so we got i am okay another um, thing that i think i forgot to say oh who was that uh let me just keep on who was that jazz okay me. <laughs> okay before before that uh one other thing that i just wanted to keep a note of uh note is ferdinand using hildebrand uh to get uh <laughs> to get magdalena to do his bidding uh she's like using his mother the mother's love kind of like veil like hinting that he like he's in danger so it's like just do the things because for your son's sake and i wonder just how much lower uh her opinion of ferdinand will dip now <laughs> with him using the I son i thought she would feel like <laughs> holy crap i denied um somebody so powerful because mm. weren't they engaged at one point yes mm -hmm. well well no it it, 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 it was a dinner match that Ferdinand won and then and, and she was supposed to be the prize but she didn't want to be the prize so she went away her own way and then she got her own marriage before she became the prize <laughs> yeah to a weakling mm. <laughs> but uh no i was Damn. like <laughs> oh yeah tar is kind of yeah. But they're gonna need um uh another like the last pro point I had is that uh, um in terms of like Jurgen Schmidt needing mana, they're gonna need more Zent candidates. Yeah. So I'm wondering how they're gonna deal with that because the tree tends to want to do what the tree wants to do, mm -hmm. and instead of well, you know doing what he should be doing, <laughs> we I think that goes. I think that goes back to something I wanted to say earlier about Rosemind's dedication world. It's like, it's like, I think because Fernand says you need to go do the dedication world and you need to, to, to show what it is when the true Zen candidates test steps on the stage. But at that point, she's going to reveal, probably going to have to reveal that she has the Grisha and blah, blah, blah. But she also going to say, I'm not going to rule. I don't want to rule. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm my role. As per se, by the goddess, is not to rule, but to give the gush, uh, the the, the side to to the person that will rule. Now, at that point, uh, will they allow uh, contenders to come from the audience to try and uh, attempt that? Because she's gonna open, she's gonna open the the door to the mm -hmm. uh, the, uh, the, the garden of beginnings, mm -hmm. and they're they're, they're 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 probably gonna uh, explain that through that door is where you go and get a gush side. Mm -hmm. I want to so, here. But isn't isn't oh, okay. the Grisha site that they're making only for one generation? Yeah, but they're not yeah. going to tell Hold anybody. Nobody's uh, going to know about yeah. that. Nick. So, Ferdinand already explained their plan last book. Is that the Grisha site that they made is a tool that is good for one Zen, and that all future Zens have to follow the original way of mm -hmm. dedicating mana throughout their childhood life. Ob ships, whatever, in order to you know before they get to the Royal Academy, so that they they will naturally breed more Zent candidates as time goes on through instituting <laughs> prayer across Jurgen Schmidt. Mm -hmm. So he already explained how after this next Zent, how future Zents will be coming from all over the place, basically. Yeah. From those who wish to be have religious ties and, and boost their own. Yeah, and they're also uh, changing fielding. the curriculum at school to help with that, to that end. Yep. So. Yeah, I'm wondering though, are they going to do it like um, okay, so the Zent dies, the whoever Zent they pick, 
and dies. So now they oh, take the Zen candidates and have them compete well, to be Zen. We will see in the future how they do that. Don't worry about it. It'll be covered. <laughs> I, 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 I don't have answers for that. I know. We will see in the future. Don't worry. Your question shall be answered. Uh, my darlings, uh, I am sorry to say our time is up. It is now 7.01 in my time of the, in my place of the world. And I know a lot of you guys have to go Mimi, go sleep. Um, thank you again to <laughs> everybody who has been kind enough to participate by all manner of ways with your comments, especially with the super chats. Thank you so much for your support. And again, thank you to the, <laughs> the gang on Discord who has always makes these uh, streams so much fun. Um, sometimes like I forget like points and things so thank you for reminding me and also YouTube chat thank you also for bringing up some points that I had also forgotten to uh, point out so let me see before we end I do want to say thank you to Patrick uh, and to Vincent and to Liz by the way all of you guys are on my discord so the fact that you guys are like members so the fact that you are uh supporting via super chats it's actually frightfully nice of you thank you so much um i owe you a watch party or something what can i do for you guys let's do a watch party or another read along i don't know we'll see what we do um watch party sounds pretty cool watch party okay we'll do a watch party we finished apothecary diaries the other day I, I don't know if you were with us so we can do a watch party i was definitely with you ah uh, yes and you were muted i was you muted. wanted to talk ah but... yes <laughs> no, I couldn't yeah, it wasn't so much that you were muted it's just you said you couldn't yeah. get discord and your yeah. other yeah. computer to cooperate oh uh, yeah unfortunately so we could hear you it is the effect of having a mac that makes things a little difficult. So, <laughs> but anyway, you guys, this thank is you my so piece much. Is better. I know, I know. You can say that all the time. Thank you so much for your support, everybody on YouTube and Discord. You guys are the best. Remember, we are still doing pre pub chit chats. So be on the lookout for the next one. As always, it's going to be on Tuesdays. And if you want to read with us, we are reading A Sense of a Bookworm Part 5, Volume, what is it? Eight? nine what book are we at volume nine we are reading it we're in chapter two so jump on in become a member and join um my discord server the nest so you can join us at the read-alongs they have been amazing vincent did an awesome job as grousem for the prologue and Whoa. i know and we had we had a lot of fun um yeah <coughs> You guys, thank you so much for doing, um, for joining me. I think I'm gonna log on out here. And Red Tempest, thank you for the um, for the memes and the support. Uh, you want uh, dangers in my heart? Oh yes, yes, yes. We are okay. If if there's two people that want to join me in a dangers of my heart watch party, we will watch all the episodes from beginning to end because I love that anime so much. I love that anime so much. You and say dangers of my heart. Dangers of my heart. Or that, dangers in my wasn't heart. Wasn't that daggers of my heart? Daggers of my heart. No, dangers in my dangerous. heart. The dangers in my heart, or the dangers of my heart. Whatever. It's a good one. It's on high dive. Um, so do check it out if you're able to. Um, but yeah, we can do. We, I'll probably join you for that, but probably not tonight. <laughs> no, we won't do it tonight. I'll schedule it. Um, yeah, so thank you everybody on YouTube and I am working on some content for the channel, especially the ships video, still working on that. Um, and finally, join me on X. I am working also on putting daily content for Ferdinand because it's Ferdinand uh, season, spring. And then eventually I will cover, I will rework all that content into a new Ferdinand A to Z. So be on the lookout for that sometime in the future as well. A new Ferdinand video. <gasps> Can't wait. My heart is beating. Oh my gosh. All right. This sim logging out. <laughs> Bye everybody. Say Good goodbye, night, darlings. <laughs> Good night. Hey, Bye. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye. -bye. Bye.